There is a new technology, it's called hydro seeding, where you combine your seed plus the, water, the irrigation water or plus the water, then you drop them using that water. And it becomes the first water for them to start germinating. When getting into a season, among the things we've been looking at is the seed. You've uh, done everything, you prepared your land, you've researched about your market, and also uh, look at your seed. And this has been a confusion to many farmers, to experts. I've also experienced this in the past, how you sow your seeds. Um, the book says, also practically it says, the seed is supposed to be buried twice its size. So for example, this seed here, this seed you see here is supposed to be buried twice its size. How can you be able to bury this, to drop this and bury it twice its size? It's, it becomes tricky. So, uh, these are the things that you need to look at um, as a farmer. These are the things you need to look at as an expert to make sure you do them the right way. Um, your seed, how do you handle your seed? Because a mistake happens at uh, sowing your seeds or when dropping your seeds or when working on your seeds, you do a mistake, you are not going to recover from that mistake. So you need, you, you, you need to make sure that you do it the right way. Especially a seed that doesn't need transplanting, not like an onion seed or not like a, a cabbage seed. A seed that doesn't need transplanting, that grows on the seed bed, that becomes very tricky. And the preparation, one, you need to look at the preparation before even you think of uh, of uh, burying your seed, look at the preparation. Then from there, look at the seed that you are going to work on it. Uh, in my case, you can see I've already prepared this bed. Uh, preparation check. My irrigation system is uh, checked. So after this, it's just opening the tabs and the water starts running. So um, like usual, like it has always been, you've seen me lacing the beds or sinking the beds. But this time around, I've not sunk the bed, I've not laced the bed. It's in on a flat land, but I've done the digging to loosen the soil for the seed. Why am I doing this? Uh, because I want, I may not be able to, to bury this seed to the required depth. But through my irrigation system, once the seed drops and it, it starts running, and my soil is very loose, you see, I have a loose soil, that means the seed will be easily covered. So these are the things that you need to look at. Um, then you sow your seeds, uh, all so that you can um, you can have a good crop uh, coverage. Um, there is a new technology, but I've not used it. It's called you can uh, check it on the internet. It's called hydro seeding, where you combine your seed plus the water, the irrigation water, or plus the water then you drop them using that water and it becomes the first water for them to start germinating it's not yet in africa and if it's in africa it's in very few people are doing it but it's a technology that is coming and once a technology has started you all we usually know is that next it's flooding in africa so how you do you are you work on your bed how you bury your seed and the type of seed matters a lot you need to check all those facts for you to achieve a good seed germination. If, I hope you've learned something from our, our today's topic. If this is your first time that you're watching me, uh, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that we continue learning together. Bye.